Flashing firmware with ELRS Web Flasher is a flashing method, and it needs to be connected to the internet. We will demonstrate using ELRS 900 MHz device and ELRS 2.4 GHz device respectively. Let's start with flashing the iFlight Commando 8 ELRS 900 MHz TX module as an example. First, we need to remove the back cover of the remote control using a 1.5 mm screwdriver. Then use a Type-C cable to connect the TX module to the computer. Pay attention here not to plug it into the remote control. Enter the home page of ELRS Web Flasher. Choose the firmware version you want to update under the version menu. Select the corresponding brand and model. The suffix transmitter means the transmitter, which is the TX module. Receiver means the receiver. For device type, choose 900 MHz transmitter. Then in the device model menu, select the TX module version. If you have the V1 version of the TX module, select the first one. After making your selection, click Next. On the second page, under the regulatory domain menu, select FCC 915. FCC is the US radio standard, which can also be used in China. AU is for Australia, EU for European Union, and IN for India. Find the options below. This is the time the TX module automatically enters Wi-Fi mode. If 60 seconds is too long, you can change it to 30 seconds or less. Under the flashing method menu at the bottom of the web page, select Serial UART. Make sure to check UART inverted. Click Next, select the correct port in the window, then click Connect. At this point, the computer will load the firmware. When it's done loading, click Flash. When the progress bar is full, it means the flashing was successful. Moving on to the receiver, we take the aircraft equipped with iFlight 900 MHz ELRS receiver as an example. First, we connect the flight controller to the computer using a data cable. Then go to the beta flight configurator to make sure the flight controller information can be read properly. Once it's reading correctly, note down the serial port name and then disconnect. Go back to the home page of ELRS Web Flasher. Select the firmware version you want to update under the version menu, along with the corresponding brand and model. For device type, select 900 MHz receiver. Then, under device model, select the model of your receiver and click Next. Coming to the second page, under the regulatory domain menu, select FCC 915, with other settings defaulted. Then at the bottom of the page, under the flashing method menu, Select Beta Flight Pass-Through, which means flashing the receiver by connecting the flight control adapter. Click Next, choose the correct port in the window, and click Connect. Your computer will then load the firmware, and when it's complete, click to flash. Once the progress bar fills up, the flashing is successful. Please note, when using the Beta Flight Pass-Through method for flashing, Make sure to close beta flight beforehand to avoid serial port conflicts, which can prevent successful flashing. So how do you flash the ELRS 2.4 GHz device? Let's take Commando 8 2.4 GHz ELRS TX module as an example. First, we need to use a 1.5 mm screwdriver to remove the back cover of the remote control. Then use a Type-C cable to connect the TX module to the computer. Be careful not to plug into the remote control. Go to the home page of ELRS Web Flasher. Select the firmware version you want to update from the version menu. Choose the corresponding brand and model. Here, we select 2.4 GHz transmitter for the device type. Then, under device model, choose the version of the TX module. I have the V1 version of the TX module right now, so I'll select the first one. Once you've made your selections, click Next. Coming to the second page, under the Region menu, select FCC, which is the US radio standard that can also be used in China. LBT is the EU radio standard. Leave the other settings as default. Under the Flashing Method menu at the bottom of the web page, select Serial UART. Make sure to check UART inverted. Click Next. Choose the correct port in the window, then click Connect. Your computer will now load the firmware. Once loading is complete, click Flash, and when the progress bar fills up, the flashing will be successful. Moving on to the receiver, 
Let's take an aircraft equipped with the iFlight 2.4 GHz ELRS receiver as an example. First, we connect the flight controller to the computer using a data cable. Go back to the homepage of ELRS Web Flasher, select the firmware version you want to update under the version menu, along with the corresponding brand and model. For device type, select 2.4 GHz receiver. Then, under device model, select the model of your receiver and click next. Coming to the second page, under the regulatory domain menu, select FCC, with other settings defaulted. Then at the bottom of the page, under the flashing method menu, select beta flight pass through, which means flashing the receiver by connecting the flight control adapter. Click next. Choose the correct port in the window and click connect. Your computer will then load the firmware, and when it's complete, click to flash. Once the progress bar fills up, the flashing is successful. Please note, when using the beta flight pass-through method for flashing, make sure to close beta flight beforehand to avoid serial port conflicts, which can prevent successful flashing.